Let's see, it's how you froze. Look at that right there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're glad to be here tonight. And so we're trying to wait. Let some of you come on in and see what's happening. Glory to God. Anybody out there, let us know. Let us know where you're at. Glory to God. God is awesome. Hallelujah. If you are on here, you let me know you're here so we can move on to the next agenda. Praise God. I hope you've had a wonderful day and that you are rejoicing in the goodness of God. You can't let me hear yours. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. All right. Minister Phillips is here. Praise God. Somebody's in the room. Uh, uh oh, Stephanie and Sonny. Hey, how y'all doing? I pray you all got you all are doing well and that you are really realizing how blessed you are to be a part of the kingdom of our God. So we are going to open tonight with prayer and then just move on. Hey, Sister Wanda Osborne, good to see you. God bless you, sister. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for your bountiful blessings. God, we come before you with thanksgiving tonight and we magnify you, the God of our salvation. Father God, we ask you tonight that you'd anoint us with a fresh anointing and that you'd anoint us to sing, anoint us to speak. And God, let it go across the airways and let it bring deliverance and victory to the lives of your people. Um, Father God, we ask you that you would just move mightily across these airways tonight. and um, You would encourage those that are weary and tired, that you'd strengthen those that feel weak Week. Uh, build up those that are torn down. Uh, God, we ask that you'd save the lost and turn them around, bring the backslider home, uh, heal and deliver and set free. Uh, all that goes on, Lord, we give you glory for it, uh, for it's because of you that we're able to do what we do, uh, and we magnify you tonight. Let your name be praised and glorified uh, in all that we do in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, Pat Stendabach, Darlene, Gail Longnecker, amen. Good to see everybody. Hallelujah. So we're going to start off. I just want to say welcome to Solid Rocks TNT uh, and uh, known as Tuesday Night Teaching. And we're so glad that you could join us. Uh, so please tag somebody and share. And if you have a prayer request, just write it in the comment box and we will surely pray for your request uh, with great expectation because I'm glad to know that God is still on the throne uh, and still well able to make a way where there seemeth to be no way. Uh, God is still moving uh, and still answering prayers. So God bless each of you tonight that have joined us uh, and we're just going to move along and we're going to start off tonight with victory in Jesus and we know you're going to sing with me amen hallelujah I heard an old old story how a savior came from glory how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing, how he made the lame to walk again, and he caused the blind to see. And then I cried, dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit and somehow jesus came and brought to me the victory oh victory in jesus my savior forever he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood he loved me ere i knew him and all my love 
this to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there that song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and He bought me with His redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew Him, and all my love is to Him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Amen. Aren't you glad tonight that we have victory in the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. 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 Glory to God. You know, uh, the Bible says, thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph. And I'm glad tonight that he has promised us victory. And you can stand on that promise tonight. Hallelujah. So we're going to sing, standing on the promises. Amen. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I now can see. Perfect present cleansing in the blood for me. Standing in the liberty where Christ makes free. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, bound to Him eternally by love's strong cord. Overcoming daily with the spirit sword, standing on the promises of God. Well, I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, listening every moment to the Spirit's call, resting in my Savior as my all in all, standing on the promises of God. Well, I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Amen. I hope
hope that's what you're standing on tonight. Glory to God. You know, it's wonderful that we have the opportunity to stand on the promises of God. The Bible decrees that he's not a man that he should lie nor the Son of Man, that he should repent. And if he said it, he will surely do it. So every promise in the book is yes, and it is amen. Glory to God. I hope you're singing with me. I can't hear you yet, but I believe somebody might be trying to help me about now. Because surely you know I need it. Amen. (laughs) So let's praise the Lord tonight with the old song called Glory to His Name. Down at the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name, oh glory to His name. Glory to His name, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name, O precious fountain that saves from sin. I am so glad I have entered in. There Jesus saves me and keeps me clean. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name. Come to this fountain so rich and sweet. Cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made complete. Glory to His name. I'm singing glory to His name. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. I'm grateful tonight for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ has been applied to my heart in my life. And I know that you are too. And you know, the truth is we were born to serve the Lord and, and we were created you know, to give Him glory and honor. Because when you look back over your life and you see the, the hand of God and how good He's been to you, how can you not tell Him thanks? Amen. So we're going to just sing a couple more songs. I don't know how many more. We'll do something. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Come on, help me sing it. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to, to thee. One more time. Come on, we need him tonight. I need the oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my 
Savior, I come to, to Thee. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. He Lord, while on others thou art calling, oh, do not pass me by. I'm calling, say. Sweet Savior, won't you now hear my humble cry? Oh, why on others thou art calling? time help me sing it I'm calling Savior oh sweet Savior won't you now hear my humble cry why Pass me by. Hallelujah. Why don't you just take a moment right there and just bless the Lord God of heaven. Amen. He's worthy tonight to be praised and adored and, and to be worshipped because there's nobody like the Lord. Amen. And I'm thankful for all of you that are with us tonight. And I pray that um, you'll just uh, be blessed tonight. I'm going to skip that one and move to this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When the world seems cold and your friends seem few, there is someone who cares for you. When you've tears in your eyes, your heart bleeds inside. There is someone who cares for you. Someone to care, someone to share. All your troubles like no other can do. He'll come down from the sky, brush those tears from your eyes. You're his child and he cares for you. 
When your disappointments come and you feel so blue, there is someone who cares for you. When you need a friend, a friend till the end, there is someone who'll be a friend to you. Oh, someone to care, someone to share all your troubles like no other can do. He'll come down from the sky, brush those tears from your eyes. You're his child, and he cares for you. Oh, someone to care, someone to share all your troubles like no other can do. He'll come down from the sky, brush those tears from your eyes. You're his child, and he cares for you. Amen, amen. Aren't you glad to know that the Lord loves you tonight with an everlasting love? Hallelujah. And you know, I'm, I'm thankful tonight for all of you that are here. Thankful for that, that God has put within your heart that you're willing to come online with me every week. And thank God for Facebook and the opportunity that we have to be able to share something about the Word of God with you. And I know that... <clears throat> God has been faithful, even through the pandemic, and even through where we're at at the current moment, God is still faithful. I want to talk to you tonight about Joshua chapter 3. We're going to begin in verse 11, and it says, Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. Now therefore take ye twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe of man, and it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord Hallelujah. The Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan that, <clears throat> the, hallelujah, the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon a an heap, and it shall come to pass when the people remove from their tents to pass over Jordan, and the priests bearing the ark of the covenant before the people. And as they that bear the ark were coming to Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water, for Jordan overfloweth all her banks all the time of harvest, that the waters which came down from above stood and rose up upon a heap very far from the city Adam that is beside Zeratan and those that came down toward the sea of the plain even the salt sea failed and were cut off and the people passed over right against Jericho and the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of Jordan and all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan so tonight, I just want to talk to you about sometimes, uh, you know, when we're we're trying to follow the Lord and do what God has asked us to do, uh, it looks like the thing that is in front of us that's preventing us from uh, doing or going where we need to be, uh, it looks like it's impossible to pass over. You know, the children of Israel are standing in a familiar place. Uh, Forty years prior, their parents had stood in this same place. Uh, and on the brink of a breakthrough, they had a breakdown. Uh, and I know that all often that we're at the place that God is fixing to move for us and fixing to help us uh, and it seems like right in that moment we give up uh, but I'm telling you you're in the threshold of a miracle uh, and you don't need to give up but you need to persevere uh, and say I'm going to hold on and believe uh, and contend for the thing that God told me I could have. Uh, hallelujah. You on the brink of a breakthrough you don't need to have a breakdown. Uh, glory to God. God is well able to bring you through uh, and 
you know, it seems as though had they had a faith failure. I don't know what you're dealing with tonight, uh, but one thing I do know, God is still well able. Uh, they forfeited their promise, uh, and they were still God's people. Uh, he cared for them and sustained them for 40 more years in the wilderness till all the di doubters died off. Uh, and you know, it, the problem with that is they died destiny poor. Uh, God had already told them what he would give them, already told them what belonged to them, uh, but they did not obtain it uh, because they did not hold on and go through and do what they need to do. Uh, and another thing, because they murmured and they grumbled and they complained. It reminds me often of the church that we live in today. One of the greatest tragedies in life is to live and never discover your destiny. But worse than that is to discover your destiny and then forfeit it. Give it up. So I want to talk just for a minute tonight on, on a simple thought of stepping into a miracle. I believe that there's somebody listening to me right now that you need a miracle and God has given me this word that I might encourage you to continue to contend for that thing you're believing God for. I want to talk to you uh, unlike, the, unlike the first generation. I want to talk to people who know they have a destiny uh, over their lives, who know there's a reason and a purpose for their existence. Uh, I want to talk to the ones who want everything God has ordained for their life uh, and, and who refuse to let go and give in or give up. Uh, is there anybody out there that you can say, Pastor, that's me. Uh, I refuse to give in. I refuse to give up. Uh, hallelujah. I'm going to hold on. Uh, I want to talk to some people that have a, uh, still got a fight in your spirit uh, and, uh, and you, you still say, listen, uh, I got the kind of fight like Caleb had. Uh, hallelujah. I might have been around this mountain over and over again, uh, but at 85 years old, uh, Caleb said, give me this mountain. And are you there that you can say tonight, Lord, give me this mountain. I, I've contended for it. My strength is still the same. My faith is still the same. I, I'm still believing you to make a way for me. Uh, is there anybody out there that could say tonight, uh, Lord, give me this mountain. Uh, you know, the kind of fight, fight within you that says, I will not be denied. Uh, glory to God. I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. Uh, I'm not going to give in. Uh, I'm not going to give up. Is there anybody? who wants what God has promised you. I believe there's somebody that wants it. Hallelujah is anybody who refuses to settle for less than what God said you could have. Is there anybody has made their mind up that whatever it costs you, you're going to get what God has promised you? Is there anybody out there tonight? I wish somebody would just shout out a few times right where you're at, in your house, in your room, wherever you're at, and make glad, make God glad and make the devil mad and say, give me my mountain. Come on, will you do it with me? Give me my mountain. Give me my mountain. Give me my mountain. Hallelujah. 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 If you're not satisfied where you're at uh, and with what you've got, seeing what you're seeing and doing what you're doing uh, and experiencing what you're experiencing, uh, then this message, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah is for you. If you're unsatisfied, uh, this message is for you. Uh, but if you're satisfied with the status quo, this probably is not for you tonight. If you happen to be one of those rare breeds, uh, call you know, they call us dreamers. Uh, and if something inside of you is kicking and, and if your spirit is divinely dissatisfied uh, and if you know God is destined you for more, then you're the one I'm talking to right now. Uh, we know every promise comes with a price. I understand that. Uh, there's no victory without a fight. Uh, there's no testimony without a test. Uh, there's no crown without a cross. Uh, there's no resurrection without a crucifixion. Uh, there's no healing without a sickness uh, and there's no deliverance uh, without a fire. There is something you'll have to go through uh, to get your promise. Uh, before Joseph went to the palace, uh, he went to the pit uh, and he went to the prison, uh, but he still obtained his promise. Uh, yes, his brothers called him a dreamer. Nobody could understand or see what he said, but let me tell you, uh, if God has made you a promise, God's going to back it up. Glory to God. Uh, he's going to help you obtain everything everything he said, as long as you continue to contend in faith and stand and don't let nobody talk you out of it. Before the Hebrew boys were promoted, they went through a fiery furnace. The most of the church world right now don't want to have to go through anything. They just want everything to be lovely, 
hunky dory you know just preach me so i feel better but you know don't require anything of me but let me tell you if you're going to obtain those things that god it god had given the children of israel the promised land he told them it was his uh, it was theirs and it, they still had to fight for it they still had to contend for it they still had to go after it uh, and i'm here to tell you you're not going to get what god said just by doing nothing uh, so you need to make your mind up uh, that you've been in this one place long enough and you're ready to move on up and do whatever God says. Um, you know, between the children of Israel and their inheritance uh, or their promised land was a river called Jordan. And Jordan means descender, the one that takes you down. That's what Jordan intends to do uh, is to take you down, kill your dreams, drown your faith. Uh, but isn't it good to know uh, how you the Lord has already made a way for us to get across. Um, in most of our songs, the Jordan River represents death. It, it describes death. Uh, but And everybody has a Jordan that they have to go through. Uh, your Jordan may be different from mine, but what is the same is the fact that it stands between my promise and me uh, and between you and your promise. Uh, glory to God. Uh, but the Bible required that the priests uh, would take the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders and step into that raging water. Uh, if the Bible says the Jordan was on out of its banks because it was a uh, it was harvest time. And let me tell you, uh, I wouldn't be too happy trying to cross a river that's rushing. Uh, and, and I would be a little bit afraid that maybe I couldn't make it across. Uh, but God had already orchestrated a plan, a way that they could get across, a way that they could succeed. Uh, and the good news was uh, the Ark of the Covenant went across on the priest's shoulders. Uh, and it's time that we, the priests, uh, step into the river of the living God uh, and allow the presence of God uh, to cause things to roll back and get out of the way uh, that the people of God might go across. Uh, it's time we lead. Uh, it's time we speak truth. Uh, it's time we be obedient to what thus saith the Lord hallelujah and make your mind up uh, that you are going to do it and we recognize the only way we can do it uh, is to go through faith uh, hallelujah without faith we're not going to please God uh, and everything you obtain in God uh, you obtain through faith you can't float over on your feelings because feelings won't get you across and you can't run over on past experiences and you can't get through on secondhand knowledge. Religion won't get you through, beloved. The only thing that can conquer Jordan is a living faith in a living God. As the children of Israel stood at the edge of a raging Jordan River at flood stage, the captain Joshua gave the priest uh, that carried the Ark of the Covenant a strange order. He said, start walking. <laughs> Step into the water. Start moving in the direction of your promise. That's what I'm telling you tonight. Uh, you need to step into your miracle. You can't just keep sitting on the sidelines and expect it all to turn around. You can't go by what you're seeing or what you're hearing or what you're feeling or what other people are really saying. You can't go by what your mind is saying or, or what the economy is doing. You have to move because God says move. You can't wait until you can see a break in the waves. You can't wait until it makes sense or it feels good to your emotions. Uh, you can't wait until you see the waters open up in front of you. Uh, you've, got, you've got some history with God now. Now, and he's requiring more faith from you now. God says it's time to take the training wheels off. It's time to get rid of the pacifier. And it's time to get rid of the crutches. And it's time uh, to move from sight to faith. Uh, glory to God. It's time to move from I hope so to I know so. Uh, it's time to move from the milk to the meat of God's word. Uh, hallelujah. In other words, this time you have to get your feet wet. Uh, you have to have enough vision and, and enough faith in God to step in. Uh, I know this sounds a little crazy to some. Uh, and I know it don't make sense. Sense. Uh, I know this Jordan is at flood stage and I know that people are saying uh, it won't work and there's a lot of folks who try to talk you out of your miracle. Uh, a lot of folks who try to turn you away from what you heard God tell you to do uh, but you need to say I can't I can't listen to you. Uh, I've got to uh, hear God, obey God uh, and watch God move on your behalf. Uh, somebody is going to step into a miracle. Uh, I, that somebody might be you tonight. Glory to God. Uh, circumstances may be against you right now and the odds against you but it really doesn't matter as long as God is for you. Hallelujah. Because if God be for you who can be against you? Do you recognize you? You see all you need is a word from God and you can sleep like a baby 
in a den of lions. Uh, you can walk through a fiery furnace. You can do the impossible uh, if you got a word from God. Uh, and he's given you a word. He gave you 66 books. That's called a word. Hallelujah. You can bring down Goliath with a piece of leather and a rock. Uh, you can have your meal barrel and your cruise of oil uh, never to go empty full. Uh, it can be full in the middle of a famine. Uh, hallelujah. All it takes uh, is a word from God. Uh, so Peter had a word. He said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. <laughs> Lord, we toiled all night was Peter's answer. And we still had not caught a thing. We haven't caught anything. Not even, a, I, my words would be not even a blessed minna. I ain't caught nothing. How long are you going to keep doing what you, what doesn't work? How long are you going to keep trying to make something happen before you turn it over to God? And how long are you going to wait before you do it God's way? Finally, Peter says, nevertheless, at your word, I'll let down this net. And when Peter obeyed the word, he moved into overflow. One word from God changed Peter's circumstances. He went from nothing to too much in one step. From emptiness to overflow in one step. From broke, busted, and disgusted to blessed, happy, and wealthy in one step. The Bible says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Peter went from a night season of weary and, and being so much toil, fruitless endeavor, to a morning season to, of overflow and joy and blessings in one step. Don't you want that from God tonight? I want to tell somebody who has the faith to reach out, somebody is one step away from your miracle. One step away from your breakthrough, are you that somebody? One step away from a too much blessing. We've, we've put in our time of toiling and trying and praying and confessing and waiting and watching. And I just came to tell you, you're one step away from what you've been believing for. Numbers 23, 19 says, God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he will do it. And if he hath spoken it, he will make it good. When they stepped into the water, as soon as the priest's feet touched the waters, the water rolled back. As they walked, the water fled from before them. You know, David was meditating on this miracle one day, and he said in Psalms 114 and 5, What ail thee, O thou sea, and that thou fleddest? Thou Jordan, that thou wast driven back. I'll tell you, if the Lord could part the Red Sea and they go across on dry ground, he can cause the Jordan to roll back and they go across on dry ground. How come he can't deal with whatever you're going through? How come he can't roll back those burdens and roll back those problems and roll back those things, uh, roll back that sickness, roll back that weirdness, roll back that discouragement, roll back those things that continually keep you from stepping into those things that God promised. Uh, I'm here to tell you, as they walked into the water, the water fled before them. I want to prophesy to somebody there are some things that you've been chasing that have been chasing you. In fact, threatening to drown you and take you under. It might be debt, sickness, it could be fear, or it may be a bad relationship. But I don't know what it is that's chasing you. But there's a turnaround in the atmosphere, and God is ready to flip the script. And that which has been running after you, nipping at your heels, is going to be running from you. Hallelujah. So you need to get on board tonight and say, Bless the name of God. Hallelujah, I'm taking a step. I'm not turning back. I'm taking a step forward. Whatever I got to go through, whatever I got to face, I won't face it alone and I won't go through it alone. So you need to understand. And when you do, you're going to initiate a fight with the word of God. Uh, you fight fear. You fight discouragement. Uh, you fight worry. You fight doubt. Uh, you fight the words of all those people around you. Uh, and you marry your ear to the voice of the Father uh, and allow God uh, to be the voice you listen to. Uh, allow God to be the voice that moves you. Uh, allow the word of God to be what you stand on. Uh, it is a sure foundation. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word uh, will stand forever. Bless his holy name. Uh, glory to God. God.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Your one, st one step is moving you from being a borrower to a lender, from barely making it to more than enough, uh, from weeping to rejoicing. Aren't you ready? Uh, aren't you ready for the turnaround? Uh, aren't you ready to see the hand of God moving? Uh, aren't you ready uh, to see your prayers being answered? Uh, one step can turn your situation around. Uh, hallelujah. I don't know what Jordan you're facing today. Uh, hallelujah. But I know it can roll back. I know things can change. Glory to God. Uh, one step can turn it around. I, I don't know what the one step is that you need to take, but if you'll obey God and take that step, Jordan is going to run from you, whatever that Jordan is. Hallelujah, poverty and lack are going to run from you. Sickness and disease are going to run from you. Hopelessness and discouragement are going to run from you. Worry and anxiety are going to run from you. Fear and confusion are going to run from you. Deuteronomy 28 and 7 says, The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, but they shall flee before thee seven ways. Hallelujah. One step of obedience. The willing and obedient will eat the good of the land. So you got to first of all make your mind up that you are going to obey the voice of God. Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. At the at the marriage of, at the, of Cana at that at that wedding ceremony at Cana where the, Canaan where the first miracle was occurred uh, where Jesus turned water into wine Mary said to him whatever he he bid you do do it so tonight I, I'm pleading with you whatever the Lord has spoke to you to do please do it please don't let people talk you out of it please be obedient you're one step away from a breakthrough you're one step away from a miracle you're one step away from a turnaround. Whatever he saith, please do it. Please do it. The miracle is not in the knowing or even the believing. The miracle is in the doing. You can say all day long, I, I believe in God. I, I believe this. I believe this. But I'm telling you, your actions will, will verify what you believe in. How you take a step of faith will speak. You know, when Ezekiel obeyed the Lord and started prophesying over those bones, things started changing. And it was a process. Yes, it was. And it was a process that continued until there was a full manifestation. You know, the Bible says bone came to bone and then sinews came and flesh came. It was a process. And many of you have been in a process for a long season. But I'm here to tell you, the Lord fully manifested. Those dry bones came back to life. And some of you have been dry for a long time. Some of you have doubted if God was ever going to move and make a way for you. But I came here tonight to remind you, you're one step away from a miracle. The main thing is to keep moving and don't give up. The priests that were bearing the ark stood firm on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan. There they were where it was impossible to go, doing what it was impossible to do. So tonight, where are you at? Are you willing to do what looks impossible and are you willing to go where no one else will go? Excuse me. Are you there? Are you really ready to take that one step for a miracle? Are you ready? Are you ready to believe to say, Lord, I'm sorry that I've been hesitant. I'm sorry that I've been holding back. Are you ready to take that step and allow God to work those miracles that you so desperately need? We are one step away from a miracle. One step away from a breakthrough. One step away from a turnaround. So whatever it is that you need God to do, let faith come alive in your heart tonight and say, okay, God, help me to stand firm and not waver. Help me, God, not to give in and not to compromise in any way, but to stand firm on your word. You're one step away. One step. I'm grateful tonight for all of you that join me every week. And I'm grateful for those of you that have been faithful all through the pandemic, even up to the current time. 
of watching and sometimes you send a heart or something. I don't know how y'all do all that, but nevertheless, I'm grateful for that. But what I want to do is to encourage you tonight to please take that step of faith and allow God. Your step will initiate a miracle. You say, how in the world can that be? It just will. I'm sure the priests, when Joshua told them to, to put the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulder and step into that raging water, I'm sure for a moment they might have thought, he's crazy, he's lost his mind. I ain't going out there in that water. But you see, they did what God said do, and it changed everything. And if you will be obedient and do what God says do, it will change everything. The Bible teaches us that obedience is better than sacrifice. So are you willing? Are you willing to be obedient? The Bible says those that are willing and obedient will eat the good of the land. And God's got good things planned for you and for me. So it's up to each of us to make our own choice and our own decision. If you don't get it, you can't keep blaming somebody else. You need to look in the mirror and take the responsibility for your own actions and your own choices because you're able to choose to, to do what God says do. Tonight, I want to remind you that the Lord loves you with an everlasting love and he won't turn his back on you. So please don't turn yours on his. I just want to uh, pray with you. I, I don't know if any of you put any requests. I didn't see them, but that ain't nothing new. I'm, I'm good for that. So. <laughs> So tonight I have with me Pat Swartz from Ohio. So she's behind me. She's been playing the keyboard. And we're glad to have her. Uh, we're glad for what God has been doing. Amen. So would you join with me now as we pray and uh, ask the Lord's blessings. Father, tonight we lift up the needs of your people. And God, we repent for all those times that we've been hesitant to do what you tell us to do. God, I ask you, Lord, that you would just stir hearts tonight and let faith come alive and cause them to rise up above every circumstance, oh God, and that they would recognize that you have only good things for them and what you want to do for them is good. Father God, I recognize you don't move without faith. And I ask you, Lord, that you would stir faith in the hearts of your people again. God, that we wouldn't be lax so oh God, but we would be we would be strong uh, and we would be adamant and we would stand and set our face like flint uh, and we would let nothing come between us and that thing that you've promised us. Uh, Lord, your word says every promise uh, is yea and it is amen. Uh, Father God, help us, oh God, tonight uh, to rise up above those things. Uh, God, I pray for those tonight that are sick and suffering. Uh, I pray, God, that you would heal them, uh, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Uh, your word says you see your word and it healed them. Uh, Father God, tonight we send a healing word across the airways. Uh, oh God, we send a delivering word. Uh, we send a saving word. Uh, oh Father God, I lift up those tonight that are perplexed in so many things. Uh, they're confused. They don't know what to do. Uh, God, let tonight be a turning point in their life uh, that they will find hope and peace and joy in you. Uh, God, I thank you, Lord, for each one tonight. I pray for everyone that's listening, everyone that's on the airways tonight, uh, that you would touch them and bless them more than abundantly. Uh, God, I bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, I thank you, God, for every every giver, for every gift. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that prays for me. Uh, God, I ask you tonight that you would strengthen the body of Christ across the world. Uh, you would encourage pastors and preachers and evangelists. Uh, oh, God, that you would stir a fresh fire in their hearts uh, and cause them, oh God, to rise up again. Lord, set them, Lord, with boldness to decree and declare the full counsel of the word of a living God. Father, help them, oh God, not to let compromise rule and reign. Help them, oh God, to preach your truth and preach it in your love. God, we thank you tonight for salvation, for, for deliverance, oh God. We thank you for healing. We thank you, Lord, for encouraging your people tonight. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' Jesus righteous name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for uh all of you that are online tonight. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Good to see you, Beverly Ann. Good to see Elizabeth Sanchez, JL Moore, Wanda, Wal uh, Monica. We're just glad for all of you that are on tonight. 
And if I didn't call your name, please forgive me. I just didn't see it yet. But God is wonderful. Uh, Marquita Marie Spencer, I think that's the way to say it, sweetie. Forgive me if I didn't say it right. But we bless all of you in the name of the Lord. And I pray that you would be strengthened tonight and encouraged because God is not finished working for you. He wants to do great things for you. And you just need to make your mind up that you're going to do great things for the kingdom of our God. He is wonderful. He's glorious. And, and his love is matchless. Amen. So we encourage you in the name of the Lord. Be blessed and have a wonderful week. And we pray that we'll be able to be live this coming Sunday in Jesus name. So uh, y'all pray for us that we can get all these things fixed that need to be fixed. And we trust God to do the rest. Amen. Have a wonderful week. We love you. And God bless you. Great job. Yeah, right. Do what? I said I messed up that one song. In one spot. If you're in this live video now, you'll be able, you'll, you'll be able to choose if you want to save or delete.